Good morning or good evening, uh, whenever you are watching this video. Uh, so you want to learn how to calculate monthly mortgage payments. Uh, so congratulations, that means you are planning to purchase it or thinking about a purchase it or you already purchased it uh, and you wanted to see how that your payments uh, uh, work, so how they calculate. So uh, I'm going to go over on the formulas. Uh, I have some presentation I'm going to go over with you. Uh, to understand how the formula works for the monthly payments, how they calculate. So, so remember, uh, this monthly mortgage payment I'm going to calculate, which is not include your uh, real estate taxes, uh, property uh, insurance, and the PMI. If you put the low, you know, uh, lower than smaller than uh, twenty percent uh, uh, down payment. So, uh, let's dive in. Congratulations again. Uh, you're thinking about the purchasing the uh, property. Uh, so let's dive in the how to calculate the mortgage payment. Let's say purchase price, uh, you know, uh, $200,000 would you purchase the house. And then you pay, put down the 5% uh, down payments, which comes out to be $10,000. Uh, and then loan amount will be the, you know, uh, Twenty uh, two hundred thousand minus ten thousand will be hundred and ninety thousand, and the interest rate. Uh, let's say it's just gonna start with the four percent uh, right now. It's the lower interest rate. So, uh, using as a thirty-year mortgage, uh, the monthly payments uh, calculation formula. L loan amount times interest rate R parentheses one plus R power of n divided by 1 plus r power of n minus 1. So that's your, uh, that's the monthly uh, uh, calculation. Uh, so let's, let's calculate this value, uh, put it in the calculator and see how that works. So uh, you purchase price, your down payment is 5% uh, uh, will be 10,000. Uh, 10, uh, I mean, purchase price was 200,000. Uh, so the loan amount, which is you borrowing money, which is 190000 and the interest rate is 4%. And we're going to use as a 30-year uh, payments, which is uh, 360 uh, months. Uh, that comes out the 30 year, which each uh, year is 12, uh, 12 months a year. Uh, so uh, the loan amount, which is 190000 uh, time interest rate four uh, percent. So four percent is over the uh, full year. So you divide by twelve. So point oh four divided by twelve. They give you the interest rate per month, and then uh, so one plus point oh four divided by twelve to the three hundred sixty minus by twelve uh, to the three hundred sixty. Uh, so the R uh, means is interest rate per the month, which is let's say 0 0.04 divided by 12. I just told you earlier, uh, and then uh, uh, now you add the one plus you know uh, R, uh, which have come out to 1.03. In the calculator, uh, you know it's uh, you could use the function key x to the y. So you put 1.0333, uh, then press the X and Y key, and then the 360 will give you 3.313498, all right? So that way it's easier for you to calculate that number. And then all that, no, uh, you know, plug in those uh, uh, separate numbers, uh, 190K uh, times, you know, uh, interest rate, and then, uh, 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12 to the 360. It's also divide by 3.13498 minus 1. And then when you plug that, all that calculation. All right, the monthly mortgage payment will be 907 and 9 cents. This will include the interest and principal which is not include uh, taxes, real estate tax, uh, insurance, and the PMI. So let's uh, deep dive in the calculation using the Microsoft Excel sheet. 
All right. So the purchase price uh, would be 200,000. And the down payment we're gonna put down, uh, let's start with the 5%. You could change whenever you want, but start with the 5%. Uh, and the loan amount, uh, uh, which you're gonna borrow, or this is sometimes they call a principal, uh, uh, would be you know, um, hundred and ninety thousand, uh, which is uh, two hundred thousand uh, minus five percent. You put down uh, down payments. So let's let's put that in the value. What's a five percent come out to be uh, for the purchase price? Two hundred. So. Uh, 200,000 times 5%, uh, that will come out to be $10,000. Uh, so 200 minus 10,000 would be 190,000, which is what you're gonna borrow from the bank. And let's, that makes it the highlight to red. So it's easier to know how much you're gonna uh, borrow the money from the bank. And uh, let's say interest rate is 5%. Uh, we're gonna change that to 4% later on. Uh, but, um, and the term, which is, you know, do you want to use a 30 year? Let's start with the 30 year, uh, not percentage, a 30 year. Let's change to the year, um, 30 year um, term. So you could use a 20 year, 15 years, but I think the starting is 30 year, the best way to start with the uh, startup. Uh, so the, uh, yeah, so you see the number change. Uh, when I change to 4% interest rate, the monthly mortgage payment uh, is the same as what we calculated, 907.09, uh, okay? So the formula we had, I'm just copying from the previously that uh, uh, loan amount times interest rate, uh, parenthesis one plus R interest over the, uh, I mean, uh, power to the N, N is a, uh, 30 year, which is uh, 360 months. Okay, look at the uh, formula I added uh, on this. Uh, you could see on the top of the uh, bar that make sure you have a correct parenthesis, otherwise you will get the wrong calculation. So you could verify that. Uh, look at the each one, how I uh, added on. Uh, so that's the way how you calculate Okay, now let's make a table uh, over the 30 year, how much you have an interest rate and a uh, principal and that loan amount. So start with the number of payments in one column and then uh, payments that you stand, uh, stays the same as 907909 uh, and then principal and then uh, interest. So payment, interest, and principal, and then balance, which is a principal we're gonna call as a principal or the loan amount what we have uh, right now is just starting with the payment first. Uh, so let's copy the loan amount, uh, which is equal to uh, click on that uh, B5 that will give you 190. And then the payment uh, would be it's a, a equal and press the B8, that will be give you the monthly payment, but you wanna drag it down. So we don't wanna change that number. So um, we wanna make absolute, which is a dollar uh, B dollar eight, that will give you the, and then when you drag it down, we'll give you the same number. Same Excel said for will not change. We need to add the principal, how much we pay every month. So let's make uh, the column, uh, one more column, put the principal uh, put the every month and then uh, change that from principal slash balance that uh, remain uh, each month. So the principal equal to payments minus interest. That's what you're gonna subtract. That's principal, you're gonna subtract from 190 uh, minus that principal, uh, give you the last principal balance that left 
to pay off your mortgage. So you all paid 273 uh, principal on the first month. Uh, so that your balance uh, stays now 189,726 and you drag it down that whole Excel sheet uh, give you the next month payments. So to look at that interest rate uh, is going down by you know dollar on the next month payments. Okay, uh, let's look at the over the thir uh, 30 year, which is uh, 360 months. So I'm just drag the whole uh, Excel. Uh, column down to 360 uh, payments and then uh, we're gonna drag down the, uh, all that payment info already also in you know uh, 360 payments so we'll see uh, at 360 payment you see on the right side your principal balance means loan amount is zero Let's look at the, how much you paid uh, total uh, payments uh, over the 30 year, which is 326,552, uh, which is not close to double, but it is close to the double amount that you had to pay. You bought a 200 and you paid 326,552, uh, including the interest and the principal. So let's look at the uh, interest you paid, uh, which is 136,000 and you uh, paid 190,000 principal, which is you borrowed the money. Uh, so bank satisfies the 190,000, you paid 136,552 uh, extra, which is the interest that you paid to the bank. So basically you're buying almost one, house for yourself and one house for the bank. Uh, if, it's, if this is interest rate is lower, so its advantage is not almost a double, but if the interest rate is, you know, 5.35%, then it's uh, come out to be exact 190, uh, if you pay principal and 190 the interest. Let's change that to see it's a 5.35, uh, that's what I just said. See if is that come out to be. So your your mortgage payment increased uh, to one hundred one thousand sixty, and uh, look at the uh, interest. How much you paying? And so you 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 borrow one ninety and you pay one ninety one. So anything is interest rated higher and higher, you pay more interest uh, to you know. Um, bank so it's like a one uh, one for yourself and you buying house one for yourself and one for the bank uh, let me show you uh, on the graph that how uh, the interest principal and your payments on the curve uh, that you will know how uh, of, on the 360 uh, payments so the top line uh, the blue one is your payment. So payments always stays the same. This is a 5.35% interest. So it's over the $1,000 uh, mortgage payments. Uh, and the red is the one, the interest uh, uh, you paying every month. So as as you look at that, it's, it's curve, it, it's going down and it's equal to, you know, at, at the pivotal point, it's about you know 15 years to 20 years based on the interest rate and it, the green uh, uh, graph is the uh, line is the one that the principal so every month you pay uh, monthly payments uh, your interest goes down and the principal goes up but at uh, up to the 15 years or so it all stays you know only you pay a little uh, a principal than interest so this this video is just uh, seems to be a lot longer now so uh, i'm gonna in the next video i'm gonna uh, add the next column which is uh, uh, extra payment so let's say if you make extra payment uh, it will see how much interest rate you reduce uh, so um i'll uh, so uh, please subscribe so 
uh, when I put the next video, you will get the notification and thumbs up uh, if you like it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, put it in the comments so I could improve the video. Thank you.